one ten one. These three simple numbers could help save your life if you fall into ice cold water. You have one minute to get your breathing under control, ten minutes of meaningful movement, and one hour before you become unconscious due to hypothermia. But only if you have a life jacket on, because there's no way you can keep your head above water long enough to actually become hypothermic. First is the cold shock response. This will be gasping followed by hyperventilation. Do not panic, it'll pass in about one minute. It's important to keep your head above water as much as possible because if your head is underwater, you can inhale more than a liter of water in a single gasp. You now have 10 minutes of meaningful movement before you become too incapacitated to rescue yourself or to prepare to wait to be rescued. If self-rescue fails, you need to prepare a way to keep your airway above water while you wait for rescue. A life jacket will help you to keep your head above water because swim failure will start to occur within these 10 critical minutes. If you've gotten through the previous two steps, you could have an hour or more before you become unconscious due to hypothermia. In addition to knowing the 1101 principle, there are techniques that you can use to delay the onset of hypothermia. First, get your body as far out of the water as possible. Your body will lose 25 times more heat in the water than in the air. If you're not able to get out of the water, conserve body heat with help, the heat escape lessening position. Bring your knees up to your chest and keep your arms tight against your sides. The key is to protect your armpits and groin where the greatest heat loss occurs. If you're with a group, the huddle position will help to conserve heat. Place one arm high and one arm low around each other and form a circle. If the group is so large that there's an opening in the middle, place someone in it to help displace the cold water in the center. In addition to helping each other keep warmer, the huddle position also provides a positive psychological atmosphere of being around others and also provides rescuers with a greater chance of spotting you. Plus, the group can work together and splash to attract the attention of an approaching boat or aircraft. Knowing the 1101 principle and understanding these cold water survival techniques in combination with wearing your life jacket, your chances of survival will be dramatically increased.